Hello, welcome to Reset Coder. In this fifth part of our Android tutorial series in which you are learning how to create a Firebase Firestore chat app, we are gonna finally be sending text messages. So by the end of this tutorial, you will have something like this, except that there won't be any image messages as of yet, because that will come later. We'll be able to send a message, so hello, right, and send it, and it will show down here. Now without any further ado, let's get right to it. We first need to create a layout for our chat activity, which is located under App, Res, Layout and Activity Chat. This time I am not going to spare you of all of the layout creation, but just of some of the parts of it. As a first thing, let's create this lower bar down here. So fire your message, the button and also the floating action button. This will be contained inside a relative layout. Its width will be 0 dp and the height will be wrap content. This will contain a floating action button, width and height will be wrap content. We want to align this view to the parent start, so align parent start is true. Then layout margin start and margin end will be 8 dp. Then we want to add a drawable, so right click on drawables, we want to create a new vector asset. Click on this clip art here and search for image and we want to select this one and OK. And the source image of this floating action button will be image black. Because this is a vector drawable, we cannot use Android SRC, but rather app SRC compat. Then the tint of this image will be from attributes, so question mark ATTR slash color primary dark. And finally, the size of this fab, so fab size, will be mini. Awesome, now we want to add a text input edit text with width of match parent and height of wrap content. We also need to give an ID to this floating action button, which will be fab send image. And now this text input edit text will be aligned to end of fab send image. Now this text input edit text is just one single line inside our layout, but when we take a look at our test app, you can see that it has this nice background, this oval background. What we need to do is to create a custom drawable, so let's open up drawables folder and right click, we want to create a new drawable resource file and let's call this one rect oval white and I'm gonna paste it in here. So it's a shape, it has a solid color which is completely white and it has four corners with radius of 30 dp. Now when we go to activity chat, we can set the background of this text input edit text to be the rect oval white. And now the problem is that because it is white and the background of this activity is also white, we cannot see it. So let's go all the way up and this root constraint layout should have a background of a color e e e e e e and now we can somewhat see this oval here its hint message will be fire your message and its padding will be 8 dp and also its layout margin bottom and end will be 8 dp and then finally its elevation will be 2 dp if we take a look at our test app you can see that it has elevation because it casts this soft shadow below it and also its ID will be edit text message. Then finally we want to have an image view for sending the message and I am gonna spare you of this one. But we still need to add one drawable so let's add a new vector drawable. And let's search for send. Alright and this is how it looks. It's centered vertically and it's aligned to the parent's end. And also, if you want to get the code from this tutorial, you can get it by going to the link in the video description, which is going to take you to resocoder.com. All right, now let's select this whole relative layout and anchor it. It will have no margins and we are going to put it all the way down. Also, its ID will be relative layout message. And finally, we want to have a recycler view over here with an ID recycler view messages and its width and height will be 0 dp so that it can adapt freely. And also it's anchored at the bottom to the relative layout message. Alright, now in the previous tutorial we also created a placeholder layout for item text message, so let's open it now. And I'm gonna paste it in here and walk you through it. But first let's create a rect round primary color under drawable, new, drawable resource file 
and the name will be wrecked round primary color. This is almost identical to the wrecked oval white, but instead of 30 dp on the corner radius, we have 10 dp. And let's copy all of this and let's create a new drawable, wrecked round white, and paste all of it in here. And we are gonna change the color from being primary to being just FFF, which is white. Now let's go back to item text message. As you can see here, now it has a nice background, but let's also create a string lorem ipsum under values, strings. All right, and now when we come back, you can see the placeholder text. The background color will be orange when it was sent by the other person and it will be white when we sent it. All right, so what do we have here? We have a frame layout which has width of match parent and then a relative layout which has width of wrap content. This is pretty important because we want to be able to switch sides of this relative layout depending on if we send the message or if the other person sends the message. As you can see here, our messages are aligned to the right and the other messages are aligned to the left. So basically we will align this message root relative layout inside this frame layout. Then the relative layout has this nice background and it contains a text view, text view message text, which has nothing spectacular set on it. And also it contains text view message time. Again, you can get the code from the link in the video description. Now let's get to text message item class from Java, the first package, recycler view item and text message item. This is currently only a placeholder. And inside the bind function, we want to get the view holder. And from it, we want to get the text view message text and set its text to be equal to the message dot text. Message is passed in here from the constructor. Then let's create a private fun set time text, which will accept a view holder. And if we take a look at this text message class by pressing control B, you can see that it holds time of type date. Somehow we need to put this date into a human readable format. We can do it by utilizing a simple date format. So while date format is equal to simple date format, we want to get the date time instance and the date style will be simple date format dot short. And also the time style will be simple date format dot short. Then on the view holder, we want to get text view message time from it. And we want to set its text to be equal to date format dot format and we want to format message dot time. Then from the bind function, we want to call set time text and we want to pass in the view holder. Then let's create a private fun set message root gravity, which will also accept a view holder. And if message dot sender ID is equal to firebase of dot get instance dot current user dot user ID and we want to get it safely. So basically when we send the message, we want to set the message root recycler view inside the view holder. So we want to apply a bunch of things on it. And those bunch of things are background resource. When we send the message, the resource should be wrecked round white. So our dot drawable dot wrecked round white. Then if we go to item text message, we can see that the parent of this relative layout is a frame layout. We need to define layout params over here. So those will be frame layout layout parameters. Let's create val l params, which are frame layout dot layout params. The width and height will be wrap content. We are going to use these values from Anko because we can. And the gravity will be gravity dot end because it should be to the right. And then we want to set these layout parameters on this relative layout. So we want to call this dot layout params and they will be equal to these L params. Otherwise, if it's the other user who sent the message, we can copy all of this, paste it in here, but the background should be wrecked round primary color and the gravity should be start. And that's about it. Now let's call set message root gravity from the constructor or actually from the bind function and let's pass in view holder. All right, now let's go to chat activity and inside get or create chat channel. After we set messages listener registration, we want to get the image view sent and we want to set its on click listener. Inside it, we want to create a message which will be sent 
and that will be equal to a new text message. We can get its text from edit text message dot text and then we want to convert it to string. The time of the message is the current exact time which we can get by calling calendar get instance and time. Then the sender ID will be us so firebase auth dot get instance and we want to get current user and we want to not safely but we want to get UID. And finally the type of the message is message type dot text. Then we want to remove the text from the edit text because it's sent. So we want to get the edit text message and we want to set its text to be an empty string. And now we need to do the most important thing which is actually to send the message. So let's open up util and firestore util and all the way down let's create a fun send message which will accept a message of type interface message and then also a channel ID to which we should send the message which is of type string and then we want to get chat channels collection ref. We want to get the document of the channel to which we should send it which is the channel ID. Then we want to get the collection of all the messages from this channels document and finally we want to add the message to it. So add message. Now let's go back to chat activity and here we want to write firestore util send message and we want to send the message to send and the channel ID is passed right over here so channel ID. In the next part we are going to be sending image messages so let's also send the onclick listener of fab send image but we are just going to put a to do here send image messages. So if you don't want to miss the next tutorial subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button. Now whenever there are some changes in the messages collection inside the current chat channel we are calling on messages changed. Let's rename this function to say update recycler view. So shift F6 and we want to rename it to update recycler view. Awesome. It will follow our good old update recycler view pattern. So it will have two nested functions fun in it and also fun update items. But before let's scroll all the way up and we should add a private var should in it recycler view which will be a boolean and it will be true by default and then private late init var messages section of type section. The section is from the groupie library. Now when we scroll down inside in it we want to get recycler view messages and on it we want to apply. Its layout manager will be linear layout manager and its context will be this add chat activity and then the adapter of this recycler view will be a group adapter from groupie of generic type view holder which is also from groupie and on this group adapter instance we want to apply. First we want to set messages section which is our property over here up top. We want to set it to be equal to a new section. So messages section is equal to a new section which will contain all of the messages by default which is a list of all items. And then we want to add this messages section to this group adapter. So we want to call this dot add or just add simply. And we want to add the messages section. But let's prefix it with this so that it's more readable. And then we want to set should in a recycler view to be false. Inside update items, we want to simply update messages section. So messages section dot update. And we want to update it with all of the messages. And then in the update recycler view function, we want to check if should in a recycler view. We want to init. Otherwise, we want to update all items. And finally, whenever I send a message and I am scrolled all the way up and I send A, you can see that it scrolls us down. This is done by calling scroll to position on recycler view messages. And we want to scroll it to recycler view messages. We want to get adapter and then item count minus one. Awesome. Now let's launch our app. And now let's send messages to my first account. And let's send a classic hello world and send it. And it shows up over here. Now let's send another message. Hi. And then what's up and pay attention to these two messages. You can see that they both disappeared for a brief period of time. That's because update items updates the messages section and it updates all of the messages. 
but we don't want to recreate all of the messages, we want to update just some of them. For that, let's go to text message item class and let's override the function is same as and here if other is not text message item, we want to return false. And also if the contents of the message are not the same, so if this dot message is not equal to other dot message, we also want to return false. Otherwise, we want to return true. Then we also want to override equals and from it we just want to call is same as and pass in this other and we want to safely cast it so as and a question mark to text message item. Oh and we also want to return this by checking if the other item is a text message item and then by checking the contents of the message we don't need to update all of the messages but only those which were actually updated which means those that actually changed. Now when we run the app and again go to chat with me and let's write hello and look at these three already existing messages. They didn't blink. So let's write something again and again these messages don't disappear but they actually move upwards. Now when I log into my other account and go to chat with donkey monkey these messages are suddenly aligned to the left and they are orange and when I send the message, so hi donkey and send it, my message is aligned to the right and it's white. And that's it for this tutorial. If you want to get the code, click on the link in the video description which is gonna take you to resocoder.com. If this video helped you to send messages with Firestore, give this video a like and also share it. If you don't want to miss the next part in which we will be sending image messages, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you are gonna be notified about all of my new videos. Leave a comment if you have anything to say, follow me on social media and see you in the next video.